Hey guys, so I am back again. I uh, decided to make some keto uh, Muddy Buddy. So I don't know if you grew up on these, but I definitely did and I found the recipe um, when I was scrolling through Pinterest, my favorite. And so I uh, tried it last night to make sure they actually turned out the way um, she described them in Pinterest and they actually did. So thought I would share them with you. And um, it's actually pretty easy. Um, basically, you just have to preheat uh, your oven to 375. And then um, basically the first step is to make the, uh, you know, actually like cookie pieces. So. Uh, what you do, and I already did some of this, but um, you have one and a half cups of almond flour. And um, I showed this last time, but for those of you that didn't see, this is the almond flour that I really like. I just order it off Amazon. And so um, that is the almond flour I use, one and a half cups. And then it calls for unsweetened uh, macaroon coconut. I'm not a big coconut person, and so I left it out yesterday um, because I was just like, I'm not really sure what what um, you know that purpose is. But if you want to get that, I actually purchased some. Um, I, this is the kind I think she recommends. Um, so she recommends a half a cup of that, um, and then a teaspoon of stevia. And so the stevia that I use for this part is, I just buy it at Walmart. This is the kind I like. Um, and so, you know, you just mix those dry ingredients and then you mix some wet ingredients. Uh, so basically you have two tablespoons of melted coconut oil, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and then four large eggs. So I already mixed that stuff. And then basically you just mix it with the dry ingredients. So, and I'll show you guys what it looks like whenever I got it mixed up. But then she suggests to use the little, the mats um, that you can just wash instead of the uh, Reynolds wrap, which is either one is fine or the parchment paper, but I've I, that's what I used last night and it worked out pretty well. So if you happen to have those, um, this is what they look like. You can just put them on your cookie sheet and then, um, cause basically you have to cook it on one side and then you'll cut these things up and then you'll, you'll flip them over actually. So it just makes it a little bit easier to get it flipped over but still mixing this up. Hi, Sarah, thank you. I'm gonna have to try your donuts uh, sometime soon. Okay, so I'll show you what this looks like. So that it's kind of a sticky dough, but that's what it looks like. And then I'll show you once I get it um, on the sheet what it looks like. And I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just kind of as even as you can. And then basically once it's um, cooked, you actually cut these into the little pieces, like the Chex Mix. So, anybody get to enjoy the sunshine today? I actually just went for a walk. I figured I better get it in before it starts raining again. <laughs> so, give me one second. Get it all spread out. <coughs> and then once it's spread out, you bake it for, I think it's 12 minutes. So, and you can kind of keep an eye on it because some um, ovens obviously cook faster than others and don't want to burn them. <laughs> but the, the 
more you can spread it out, the more pieces you'll have. Show you what that looks like. Spread out so you can see that not anything fancy. But, um, that's that and then I'm gonna put this in the oven. So I'm gonna put it for 10 minutes just to make sure I don't overcook it. Hey Lori, I bought those on Amazon, pretty much where I get everything. <laughs> Thank goodness for Amazon Prime. Um, so that is gonna take like 10 minutes, so um, uh, just to kind of go into the next part of it. So basically then um, we will make the chocolate peanut butter mix and so I have been buying a lot of stuff at um, Hy-Vee in their health food section. So I have found this um, peanut butter that I used. And so, cause I've been trying to make sure I'm using the peanut butter that just has peanuts and no added oils or anything like that. And so this is what I used last night and um, it's called East Wind Nut Butter. So it has no salt. And I found, like, you know how they separate. I never had heard this before, but if you put them in the refrigerator, then it's not, like, so it's, like, harder and it's not all, like, runny and gross. So I just found that out. <laughs> so, and then um, what I did for the chocolate, um, she found, she has on her recipe these um, chocolate chips, like 100% cacao chocolate chips, but I couldn't find those um, and I didn't want to wait to order them on Amazon. So these were, this was also at the Hy-Vee health food section. They're chocolate bars, 99% cacao. And so they, um, I, it, she says to use, what is it? Um, a half a cup plus two tablespoons and I kind of did the um, measurements and everything on my fitness pal and so I ended up doing six of these squares um, it comes in eight squares so I used six and that seemed to work out and it was right at I think oh what was it like around four net carbs per serving and she says you're supposed to get 15 servings out of this so I don't know if that's <laughs> if um, if they would uh, go that far or not, but let's see. I'll go ahead and break this up while I'm waiting. Hey, Raymond, how are you? So how long has everyone been doing keto, if they are? So yeah, just while we're waiting, I know we have a few minutes. So um, does anybody have any keto questions or is keto going well for people or anything you're struggling with? <laughs> hey, G-Nan. Yes, you will definitely have to try these. You can come over anytime. <laughs> Sarah, keto for two years, awesome, 35 pounds down, and her husband is down 65, that's great. I know, you guys are definitely an inspiration to all of us. I know, these are so fun. I just like that we can finally find like recipes that everybody loves and so you realize now that you're not depriving yourself with keto, you're just 
having to make a little bit more from scratch, which is good because then you know what's in your food <laughs> and you don't have all the sugar. Oh wow, Raymond, I just saw, sorry I'm not keeping up. So Raymond is down 145 pounds. That is so awesome. <laughs> Let's see, and Jean Ann, one year, that's awesome. I know, I've been doing it like a year and a half or so, I think, maybe a little longer. Um, I had tried it like three years ago, maybe, and it just wasn't working for me then. I think I stuck to it for about two weeks and then I was like, this isn't for me. Um, but uh, about a year and a half ago, I found um, some secret products that just are, you know, really worked for me. So if anybody would be interested in hearing more about that, you know, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd love to share what's worked for me. So what is everyone doing this weekend? Tonight, I guess tomorrow's Friday already. This week went pretty fast. Let me check on these. So a little bit left. Whoops. Let's see. So while that it still has like four more minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and microwave um, the chocolate. Um, so again, she if you use the chips, she uses half of a cup plus two tablespoons. And if you use the chocolate bar, if it's the same size as mine, which is four ounces, um, I used six squares and there's eight squares. And then you will use um, a fourth of a cup of peanut butter plus one tablespoon of peanut butter. And then two and a half tablespoons of butter. So you'll microwave all of that. sugar so that is um, instead of powdered sugar and I mean that's I mean what makes it literally exactly like the other money buddies Just so you know, I will post this recipe, even though I've made a couple changes. Um, but what's the lady's name who did this blog? Uh, let's see here. Uh, can't find it. I'll make sure I post it though, so you have the idea. Exactly, but I almost wonder if it could use a little bit more 
peanut butter. So you might experiment with that. I'm going to follow it tonight just so I don't get confused. But um, but you might, if you want like more of a, the peanut butter taste, you might want that. So. Okay. All right. So that is still not ready yet. Getting close though. Wait, let's see. Oh, the peanut butter? Yeah, the peanut butter will make it better, and I don't think it will add too many carbs. This one, let's see. This one has nine grams of carbs per two tablespoons, but three grams of fiber, so not bad. It's not, you don't have to have it like 100% cooked because you flip it over and then once you cut it up, you will cook it for a few more minutes. Um, okay, so I'll show you what this looks like. Um, so here is it cooked and then I'll show you how and we just flip it up. Uh, you might want to wait a minute because it's probably hot. <laughs> um, but I think it'll be okay. I'll get my other glove out. So that's what it will look like flipped over and then um, I will cut it and then show you what it looks like. So it is still hot but it actually cut really easily. Um, so you just cut it in strips kind of like I did with the chips the other day, although obviously these are much smaller. And then you just, then you like cut them the other way. So, doesn't have to be perfect. So who's going to try this this weekend? I think they will be a big hit. I think we should make them and not even tell people they're keto. And then <laughs> they will realize that they aren't missing out on anything going keto. It takes a minute to do this. So, has anybody else tried any fun recipes lately? I think we need to just start sharing all of them so we don't get bored. Alright, so that part's done. And then myself. Uh, it's a little harder to do the other way because it starts sliding a little bit, <laughs> but it's okay. And she says on, on here that you can actually just stop here and eat this like as a cereal if you want, because if you're missing actual cereal, you can have um, 
you just with like almond milk or something, but uh, I'd rather have the Muddy Buddies. So who's doing the challenge that's coming up? I'm still looking for people to join my team. So if anybody is interested in doing a 60 day challenge um, to get in shape before Christmas, we are uh, doing one. It starts on Monday and it goes through December 16th. Almost done. Sorry, this is probably boring. <laughs> I tried to do part of it early, but it's, you know, with it having to bake, it's hard to do all of it at once or all of it ahead of time. Uh, let's see. All right, I'll show you what this looks like and then we'll put it back in the oven. And I was trying to curry so it's like obviously not perfect but see you just cut it up like that because they're just like in little pieces like the chucks mix and then let me double check how long I think it's like five more minutes um, let me see so that way the other side gets cut or gets browned a little bit as well makes it a little crunchier um let's see uh oh 10 more minutes so i don't know if we will keep them in there the whole time but we'll see so it's supposed to be for 10 more minutes on the other side and then what i did yesterday was um you are supposed to put it in um, a bowl so it can kind of cool. So I put it uh, in the freezer so it would like cool a little bit before I added the chocolate so it didn't all melt. <coughs> hey Alfie, I haven't seen you in forever. I will save you some. <laughs> Maybe I'll just have to drive out to Great Bend and hand deliver it. So if anybody would like to be added to my keto group, uh, we share recipes and tips and stuff. So um, I would be more than happy to add you. I've uh, been trying to, I had it for a while and I, I hadn't been adding anything. And so I was like, I need to get back into this. So um, anyways, I uh, wanna share helpful tips and stuff. I know more and more people are starting to do keto and it's kind of like where do you begin and and so I know there's a lot of questions when you first start but anyways <laughs> hi Beverly hopefully you'll try this recipe too sorry about the pita chips <laughs> but I didn't put mine in the refrigerator so I I didn't get sick, so hopefully it's okay. I kept mine just in my pantry in a Ziploc bag and they didn't get soggy. They got softer than they originally were, but they didn't get soggy. <coughs> All right, a little bit longer. <laughs> so yeah, if anybody wants to be added to that group, just let me know or drop a line in the comments. And then I might go ahead and take these out just so we can get to the last part. And uh, my bowl. Let's see here. I'll use this. I'm just putting this in a bowl running out of counter space over there. <laughs>
So, here's what they look like um, for now. And then um, it, you'll have your little Ziploc bag ready so that once you get the chocolate all over the um, the little cereal stuff, then you'll add your powdered sugar or confectioner's uh, swerve um, and then just shake it up. But you'll use three-fourths of a cup of, of the swerve. And I got this at, um, uh, what was it, Hy-Vee 2. You can order online, but I think it's actually cheaper. It was like $6.99 at um, Hy-Vee, and I think it's like $8.99 on Amazon. So, clean up from my mess. Okay, I will add you, Alfie. Anybody else? <laughs> so while that's, um, just cooling a little bit longer. I'll just go over in case there's anybody else that joined. But what I use for the chocolate is, um, it's called Sunspire 99% cacao organic unsweetened chocolate. Um, and so I use six squares. And again, I got this in the Hy-Vee nutrition section. And the peanut butter I used is called East Wind Nut Butters. It's just all it is. is peanuts, uh, no salt, and I keep it in the refrigerator because it separates and it makes it not as like oily at the top. It makes it easier to, to get out. So I think this should be okay. Okay. Let me see. All right, so I'm just going to pour this into the chocolate and just mix it all up so you get covered and like I said you'll probably want to um, cook it for the full 10 minutes because it'll make it crunchier but for the sake of time I just took them out early I'll show you what this looks like before I pour it in. <coughs> hey, Jeremy. I think the kiddos will love this stuff. And they will probably have fun helping you guys make it. <laughs> Okay, so here is what it looks like. And then I'm to put it in my Ziploc. Um, let's see. I'm just using like a big spoon. <laughs> my other one's still dirty. Um, so just put it in here, and then again, we'll add three-fourths of a cup of the confectioner's swerve, and then just shake it up, and then I would um, put mine in the refrigerator, so I can't remember if that's what I used to do with the real ones or what, <laughs> but um, I think it helps keep them harder, so... Making muddy buddies, Jeremy. They are delicious. Okay. And then, ah, this. Okay.
first of a cup. And you know what? I forgot to add my that. It just it was just a half a teaspoon of um what was it, half a teaspoon of vanilla and half a teaspoon of uh, stevia to the mix before I mixed it up. So I just put a tad more confectioner sugar in it. Hopefully that'll make up for it. It'll be sweet enough. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just mix these around. And then I'll pour some out so you can see. And I mean, literally, if you didn't know and you just saw these, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference, I don't think. Let's see. So let me know if any of you guys try these and find any other tricks or anything. Uh, let's see if this is good enough. I think it's pretty good. I'll need a little bit more. Um, okay. I'll just put some on the pickle plate so you can see. like and there's you know the pieces that all stick together those are like the favorite ones to eat because you got like three pieces at once so anyways I hope that you guys enjoyed this recipe try it and let me know and um, like I said if you have any questions about keto or anything or you'd like to be added to the group let me know and I hope you guys have a great evening thanks for watching bye